Hello. I didn't see you there. I'm just casually hanging out in um, what is my new space. So we're here to do a life update video and you know, some of the bad, some of the good, that's the nature of life. So unfortunately, as I'm sure if any of you are following uh, my store page, you will know that there is no longer a store. We had to close the store at the end of December, which makes me really, really sad. And I'm not gonna talk about it too much because it makes me really, really sad. So that's bad. Um, on the good side of things, a bunch of friends came and helped me pack and move and, you know, shit like this when you're at like really bad times in your life and you have a lot of stuff to do in a very short period of time and you're really stressed out, it like, it really shows you who your friends are. And what I learned is that it wasn't the people that I know that are like, take a break, relax, have time to yourself. Those were not the people that showed up. The people that showed up were my fucking scuzz bucket punk rock weirdo friends that were like, all right, bitch, let's do this. We got to do what we got to do. We've got 4,000 costumes and thousands of products to pack. We got two weeks to do it. Let's go. And we did it. So like closing a store, bad friends, helping out good. Now, good friends that helped out lost a bunch of shit, unfortunately. So there is stuff that is still missing and I don't know where it is. So that's bad, but you know, what's good. We got a new space. We got a new space, you guys. And you know, what's really fucking cool. We get to sew at a medieval fort. That's right. Welcome to the sewing fort. And you know what? As I see it, there are two ways to deal with bad shit in your life. There's like a, you turn into a little ball and you fucking cry about it. Or you hold your head up and you walk into the next chapter of your life like a badass. So that's where we're at. We're trying not to be sad about things. We got a badass medieval sewing fort and I'm fucking excited about it. We're actually getting banners made. So here on this side of the door and here, on this side of the door, we're going to make banners that say like Fort Absinthe or something. And there's going to be like a sewing, like a thread spool with like cross needles. And we have a sword. We're going to hang a sword above the door that says like Missy's sewing or something. It's not quite decided yet, but we're going to have badass medieval banners with my fucking face on them, which is so cool. So here we are. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome to the fort. So this is my new sewing area so you can see we got like a bar up here with some of my like mad max costumes on it uh we got like really tall well these are actually shorter shelves these i think are only about nine feet or so um all sorts of this is my extra sewing machines my power tools got like fabric and stuff got scary baby scary baby made it to the fourth and he's been good i've been sewing on him so much since i got here like so much thank god for scary baby Got my serger, my other serger's at the doctor right now. Got my old faithful here. We even got a little fridge where we could keep drinks or, you know, booze should the occasion arise, but mostly drinks and uh, snacks and whatever. This is Brody's sewing station over here. This is his, uh, his sewing machine that we call Pinkerton. Pinkerton lives in there until we need him. Yep. So that's where Brody sews when he comes to visit. And we actually have, this is actually um, for ax throwing. This is a, an axe throwing range, or it used to be. So you know what? When we get too pissed off with our sewing, we can literally throw axes at the wall. Is that not awesome? That's what all these are for. We can just be like, fuck you, stupid dress that I'm working on, axe, which is delightful. Haven't taken them up on that offer yet, but it's something that I can do if I need to. This is Jessica's station, also known as the magical tech weenie. This is where all the magic happens, you guys. All the YouTube magic happens right here in her capable tech weenie hands. So I don't touch this stuff too much. I'm not, I don't know if it doesn't have a bobbin in it. I'm not in charge of it. That's her problem. So back to me. This is more sewing supplies, obviously. So I got like hardware and stuff here on the bottom. That's my personal, my personal fabric stash of stuff, except for the pink. That's a gift for somebody. That's not for me. Trims. I've got everything labeled. Look at how organized. Purple fabric, gray fabric, ribbon, ripstop, good junk more good junk. Oh, red junk, golden religious stuff, belt bits, dead things assorted, dead things bones. Cause you got to keep your dead things sorted. Otherwise you'll just get lost. And you don't know where any of your dead things are. And up top, nothing makes a girl feel like home, like putting up her Mad Max heads. So we put all of our Mad Max heads up top there. Got the head cage. We got like antler things. We got crowns of dead things, saw blades, all that. They all live up top and I'm really, really happy. They make me feel happy and creative to have them up there. So I'm really excited about that. Got the smashing table. 
My dad built me this really sturdy table so that I can smash things on it here. I've got my anvils, my hammers, got rivets and grommets and stuff. I got my clamps here, my vices, so I can do all my like heavy metal and riveting and grommeting over here. We got our mannequin, a little shorty that she is. So we kept her here in a vintage wedding dress. She's currently wearing a medieval helmet because like you never know when Vikings might invade. It's a real danger sewing in a medieval fort. You gotta watch out for Vikings. So she's got her helmet on, she's safe. And uh, we're gonna use her to display some clothes. And then this is like more, more sewing stuff. I actually got rid of a lot of sewing stuff. I know it looks like I have a lot. I really, I got rid of a lot when we moved, believe it or not. So I got like paint. This is my rust bin for when I want to make things rusty. Got patterns and stuff in here. Um, appliques and patches. This is uh, resin casting stuff. That's a new thing for me. I'm working on learning resin casting. So that's like a lot of fun. And we got Rufus. Rufus is hanging out here when he's not on my car. He just hangs out here and helps us guard the fort. And that's pretty much it. This is my cute little sewing fork. Got my cutting table here in the center of the room. So I can just stand here and cut fabric and then go right over and start sewing it. And yeah, so here we are. Welcome to my space. Me fort. Me fort. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. I mean, I like it. I'm having a bloody good time in here. Getting a lot done. And sewing is my full-time jam now. So if you guys need anything made, whatever, feel free to hit me up. I'm actually making two things right now. Two things for people that actually watch these videos. So keep on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Same as usual, if you wanna follow me on any of the things, if you wanna like this video, that'd be great. Thumbs up, thumbs up for the sewing fort, that'd be awesome. If you wanna ring the bell, you can get notifications where we put up new videos. I know we missed a couple of weeks, but we're trying our very best to keep on top of it. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, I'm under madame underscore absinthe on Instagram for outfit pictures, such as they are. Same on Twitter, Madame underscore Absinthe. I haven't been on there in a little while, but I usually post sewing in progress and stuff like that on there. And exciting news, you guys. As of today, officially as of today, I have Facebook. I have a Facebook page. Just search Madame Absinthe on Facebook. It's the same cover photo as like YouTube and everywhere else. It's the same, it's the same goddamn thing. It's the same picture of me as everywhere. There is another girl on there going by Madame Absinthe, but she, I think, is just posting pictures of Absinthe. And I mean, good for her. I do like Absinthe, but that is not me. And it's the one with my face, that is my Facebook page. If you want to buy me a Kofi, support the maintenance of these horrible beasts that I abuse the ever-living hell out of, that'd be great. It's Kofi.com slash Madame Absinthe. And I think that's it. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, follow social media, and Facebook now, you guys! Oh, yes! One last thing, because I'm a total scatterbrain today. I have Depop. I know I've mentioned it before, but there's actually some stuff on there now. It's just been sitting blank for a long time. So if you want to buy like secondhand stuff that we have, also a few leftover things from the store, a few eyelashes, jewelry and stuff, and then a few of my things, Depop, search me up on Depop. We're going to put all the links. You can buy some stuff there. Follow me on Facebook. And I think that's it. I'll see you later. And you know what the best thing is? At the end of every night, we get to leave. And you know what we get to say? We get to say, shut the fort door. <laughs>